Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to create this uh, beautiful God Ray lights in Blender using a sky texture object, a principled volume shader and uh, some settings in the color management. So let's start with that uh, cave model, which I created in uh, Blender geometry nodes. Uh, you can see here are many options where you can um, modify the cave. Maybe you can modify the radius uh, and the fog will uh, grow with the radius. Uh, you can control the amount of holes, uh, the rock density, uh, the particles you have seen, uh, the water level and so on. So if you're interested in that model, um, you can download it on my Gumroad um, account. Um, I will leave a download link in the description below. Um, and if you want to support me, you can um, buy it for, own, for a small amount, I think. Um, so just um, if you're interested in but um, we can jump right into the camera now. And as you can see, you can see nothing. Um, that's the light, how it comes by default. And um, how do we get some God rays in there? So first of all, we uh, jump into the material and I've already created a principle to volume. And um, the first thing we see is that the density is much too high for some such kind of um, Godray object. So um, I preferred to use a density of about uh, 0, 0, 0, 0. 0. 0. 0.005. And uh, you can already see the, the, the density of the fog is getting lower and you can see some of the, of the rocks. Now, um, we obviously we have to get much more sunlight. So I jump into the, the sky object. Sorry. And um, the best parameters that, uh, that do work here is, uh, first of all, we have to uh, get the sun in a position that it shines into the cave. Um, I will go with 60 and 58 here, so it the light comes uh, in from right in the, from the upper right corner. Um, you can also uh, change the sun size, but uh, if you change the sun size and make the the disk very small, you can see um, it's not any longer something like a like a point light like an infinite point light it becomes some some soft shadow light uh, and we don't want that so for that um, for the sake of creating god lights you have to use a pretty small sun size as and the smaller the sun size um, the sharper the god rays are getting so that's our setting for our sky texture now let's jump back into our fog. Um, the problem here is now that we uh, now can see our uh, god rays, but we can nearly see nothing uh, from the surrounding, from our caves. So uh, we have to increase our um, anti-sotropy. Mm. And therefore um, we have to make it much higher. Um, I will go with a value of 0 0.9 and as you can see now you can still see the god rays and you can see the surrounding of the cave. So now um, it's still uh, much, too, uh, much too dark and you can see nothing. So let's jump into our color management and change there some settings. So if you have a very dark light situation, you can uh, use the exposure. I will go with three. Um, that has nothing to do with cheating. It's um, the equal to a normal camera. If you increase uh, the, the lens opening of your camera, that's uh, comparable with the exposure. And maybe we adjust the, the gamma setting a little bit only. And as you can see now, we are getting some p 
beautiful god rays. I will turn that off. Um, we can adjust the, the light of our god rays. Uh, for example, we can make it a little bit more bluish. You can also uh, control the absorption color of your uh, anti-isotropy. Maybe we can play there with a little bit with blue too. Something like that maybe. Yeah, I think that should work. So now we have, uh, we, have we have some beautiful god rays um, and the the cave itself uh, or the very dark room is uh, lighted good so that you can see everything and the god light the, the, the god rays. Mm -hmm.